Hello and welcome to RS Gaming Videos. I'm Ross uh, and today I'm doing another Volts tutorial. Um, I've showed previously how to make a lot of these machines but um, someone's pointed out to me that I haven't shown how to make steel. Now you can make steel with um, a machine but you've got to power that machine using this uh, generator and battery box. But to make the generator and battery box you've got to have steel to start with. Um, there is an alternative method to make steel which I'm going to show you today. Uh, but once you've made steel this way a couple of times, then you can start making it with a machine once you've got power. Uh, but you've got you've got to get going with it. So um, first thing we're going to make is a blast no blast coke a coke oven coke oven blast furnace is the second thing we're going to make. Um, so I'm just going to put some sand here like that and some bricks in the spaces in between and we're going to make coke oven bricks. I've got 32 of those, we're not going to need all of that but um, it's nice to have a lot of it. Um, I'm actually going to build it up here. So how are we going to build this? We're going to make a platform like this 3x3 three three, and now we're going to fill again the next layer but leave the middle one empty. And Now we're going to do the same again but we're going to fill up the top space again and you'll see once I place this final bit there's, you've got to remember to have this um, hang on if I show you again just so I know you've got it there you go, you've got to have that empty space in there uh, and there you go, it will it will turn into a coke oven now uh, you might not recognise this even if you have seen it before because they've changed the texture of it I think it looks better now actually than it did before. And there we go, our coke oven. Um, now this is usually used in railcraft to uh, it's a good way of getting creosote oil and coke to, for making rails. But you see I'm gonna put my coal in there and it's gonna it's gonna work its way up this bar. It takes quite a while. It's a nice animation on there. It's gonna take a while. You can see it's sort of working. But uh, while that's working away I'm going to get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna make some blast furnace bricks. So we've got some soul sand, some magna cream, and some nether brick. So we're gonna put nether brick like this, magna cream in the middle, and soul sand at the corners. And there we go, blast furnace brick. We've got a whole stack of that. You won't obviously obviously you won't need this much. Now um we're gonna build this slightly differently because we start again with the um, we make the blast furnace looking the same to start with uh, so we do that first row with the middle empty again we do the next row, row but uh, we also leave this row empty as well and then we do a final top layer that's filled in and when I fill it in you won't be able to see it because um, I was up on top of that before and after but um, there we go it's it's Normally that, that wouldn't be there if it wasn't. So there you go, it's disappeared off all sides. If I place that, it's the right shape. So uh, it opens that sort of um, thing there. You can right click anywhere on this and it will open the blast furnace window almost. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Now um, this is making coke, um, but obviously that does take a long time. So I've got some uh, cold coke here to save me some time. Uh, so I'm going to put my coal coke in the bottom there of the blast furnace and some iron in the top and that's going to again take a little while quite a bit longer than a um, a standard furnace I'm gonna, in the meantime I'm going to get rid of these bricks uh, there you go it's, it's getting there it's getting there and this has now made one coal coke and you see down here there's creosote oil 500 out of 64,000 so um, it stores quite a bit and you should be able to pipe out the creosote oil um, using buckets I think you can do it if you put if you use um, a oh god I can't think of the name of it now but um, I know you certainly can in tech it uh, you can place buckets against it using one of the machines and it will take it out uh, as buckets of creosote oil um, so there we go almost done this one ironing got almost done. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, there we go. One steel ingot. There we go. Very nice. Particularly nice now we've got 3D items in the game as well. So uh, that will continue to make more. And that will continue to make coal coke. You can't put normal coal in the blast furnace. That's why you have to have this coke oven to make the coal coke before you can put it in the blast furnace. Um, so there we go. Those are those two. The uh, the blast furnace there and the, the coke oven. And now you can use your um, steel ingots there to make some machinery. Right, so uh, now I'm going to show you how to make the metallurgic infuser, which is going to make our um, our steel dust. Uh, so the first thing we're going to want to do is get some steel. In fact, actually, I don't think we need the steel, to be honest. But uh, it's good to get it out of there. You, as you can see, our coke oven's still going. Um, so I'm going to take some redstone and some iron ingots. I'm going to put the iron ingots in the middle. Redstone around the outside and make some enriched alloys. I've got 16 of those. That's plenty. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some platinum ingots. Now we make platinum ingots from platinum ore. But I'm not, obviously I'm not going to show you smelting that. You know how to smelt things by now. If you're playing this pack. Uh, or I should hope so anyway. Um, now we're going to put some of those around. And we're going to make... We're going to put some enriched alloys in the middle. We want to keep some enri enriched alloys. Don't make all of them into control circuits. But uh, we'll just need a couple of control circuits. So there we go. So we've got some control circuits. We've got some enriched alloy. Uh, so now, we're going to go over here. We're going to get a couple of furnaces. Again, you know how to make it. Some iron. I've already got some in my inventory anyway. So we're going to put iron in the corners. We're going to put furnaces at the top middle and bottom middle. Enriched alloy in the middle and control circuits either side like that and we've got our metallurgic infuser so um, let's take this uh, oh, we're running out of space here aren't we let's get rid of this get rid of that don't need those anymore uh, and we're also going to get some cabling so uh, let's place that down there now the the red the face is the wrong way so we're going to want to get our wrench which I didn't get out there we go we want the red side to be round oh shift click you got to remember that should have no is it not moving no you don't want to okay let's just let's wire it up manually then so bring that up there Ah, shift click. There we go. Um, so now this says this has been wired up. So the uh, the next thing we're want, going to want to do is uh, get the items we're going to need. So um, we're going to want to make some enriched iron. So we're going to put iron in the middle, enriched alloy above and below. And we've got 30 of those. That should be enough for the moment. And we're going to take our furnace and we'll put that over here. I'm going to need to actually get something to burn. I have to get some coal out of here. Steal that. I'm gonna we're gonna put coal in the bottom, but we're also gonna put coal in the top. And we're gonna we're gonna be smelting coal with more coal. I'm not actually sure how that works um in real life, but oh well. We're not gonna worry about that. And we go. Compressed carbon. And we're gonna put the compressed carbon in no, we're not. We're going to put enriched iron there. Where did my compressed carbon go? Is it gone? I've lost it. Hang on, let's make some more. Ah, there we go. It's building up this bar up here. Right, I'm going to need a bit more, actually. There we go. Obviously, it would take you a little bit longer than I'm trying to do it in. I'm trying to do it quite quickly. I think it takes about eight... Oh, it takes more than eight, clearly. Um, for every every time that goes up to the full max, it should then um, use this enriched iron to make uh, steel dust. But let's see. Let's get a bit more. Come on. There we go. This should be enough now. There we go. We've put that in. Have we not wired it up right? Okay, well, I found the uh, the problem. 
we're not generating power anymore. We've run out. Um, I've managed to drain it all using that. Um, but it wasn't actually connected up properly to the battery box, but um, that shouldn't have mattered because um, the battery box didn't have anything in it. Oh, it's now charging up. I don't particularly want to charge up. I want all the power to go here. Oh, there we go. Oh, God, it's noisy. Very colourful, very nice animations. And as you can see, enriched iron is going to steel dust. And there we go. If we take my steel dust and I'm going to put it in this furnace, put this compressed iron in there, this compressed iron, this compressed iron. And if you look at this furnace, steel dust predictably becomes steel ingots. So uh, we've made we've made some more. They don't stack. They're slightly different, but um, that shouldn't matter because you can use both of them in the uh, crafting recipes. I'm going to turn this off because it's noisy. Oh, it's already charged up. All right, let's go away from it. Leave it alone. Um, as you can see, this is very very slow. But um, if you did it in advance before you actually needed it, that wouldn't be a problem. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Keep watching our vaults videos. There are more. And there will be more uh, using what we've shown today to make other stuff. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Visit our website, rsgamingvideos.co.uk. .co.uk, sorry, make that clear. Um, you can go there and find all our videos. Uh, if you want to find out more about Vaults, go to the Vaults Wiki or the Vaults page on the Technic Pack website. Uh, and goodbye.